Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new episode in the series in which we celebrate the fabulous and extraordinary Miss Diana Ross and today uh, for a little break from uh, what we've been doing uh, recently I wanted to um, uh, show you the time that Diana Ross premiered her signature tool coat in the Diana television special in 1982 and the importance that that coat has had throughout her career from that time on up until today where she still performs wearing them uh, in all different colors and wearing the original one in white. Now um, uh, uh, I guess the best way to start uh, without you know wearing wearing it myself is to uh, just show you um, exactly what I'm talking about so let's see the clip <laughs> God, isn't that just absolutely fabulous? So Diana Ross, um, as you, you may know, that uh, Diana TV special was a part of a concert filmed in Los Angeles and then um, excerpts that were filmed in a studio. It was a magnificent show which had huge ratings and which um, a, a showcased Diana Ross at the height of her career because this is where she sang for the very first time I'm coming out on stage as well as upside down and um, so as you know Diana Ross whenever she reinvents herself whenever she begins you know a new season the clothing is a very very important part of uh, of the, the whole the whole thing and so uh, Diana Ross appeared in the magnificent, magnificent white uh, gown with spaghetti straps and she first had a little jacket that went over it, which was had big shoulder pads, you have to remember this is the 80s, and um, that was absolutely gorgeous and then she took it off and for most of the show she wears the gown that has spaghetti straps and just a very simple bodice um, slit on the front and with the train. So um, Diana Ross wears this gown the whole time and uh, she is absolutely stunning. You can see her beautiful, beautiful arms. She's able to move when she dances with Michael Jackson. She's just absolutely gorgeous. And only at the end, end, end of the show does she appear with what can only be described as actually very simple and it, it it had such an impact 
Um, and Diane Ross really realized that this was something that on stage really was even more spectacular than the, the, the coat in which she arrived, which was all of the foxtails, um, and which was definitely more elaborate and more expensive. And um, it was more spectacular than many, many pieces that she had worn. But uh, the advantage to this one is that it's very light and, um, and that it, you, it moves absolutely beautifully. And it was so um, important and it gave, there's quite a bit of fabric, I'll tell you all about it. Um, it, it gave such a, a, an impact that she actually wore it again on the following uh, TV you. special, which was her uh, concert uh, in Central Park. Of course, she didn't wear it the first night because the concert was interrupted, but on the second day she wore it, and she also wore it for the finale over that beautiful black uh, dress uh, that was completely simple on that night of the day. We got several one uh, on the stage, and uh, she complimented the young with this coat which is something I know would never do because once she's done a television special, she won't wear that to something as important or more important. She'll wear it on stage, she'll wear it on tour all around uh, the world, but she won't wear it for something that will be shown nationwide, like the, the uh, television special or the, the uh, the concert uh, uh, for um, Central Park. So it really shows that this was so, so, so um, in, important and also something that she really enjoys wearing. And still today, you see her arriving. I'm coming out with a green one, a red one. that Diana Ross wears um, because it's tool, it's not expensive here in Paris. Um, it, it costs just a few euros a meter. Um, so in yards, it's a different, uh, different measurement. But um, the only thing uh, is that you need a lot of it. Now, this one um, is the, the original one is 50 meters of fabric in order to have uh, all of the, the, um, uh, the ruffles that you see. And this one actually has only 40, less than 40, a little bit less than 40, because as I was making it, I realized that it was taking up so much room that I couldn't travel with it. And I told you once, I think I I, I went to Monaco and it stayed in the in the in the bag. I never took it out. It just went back and forth because um, where I was performing, I had to cross the before getting onto the stage uh, across a room where a lot of uh, drinks had been spilled and alcohol and food, and I didn't want to ruin it. So this code for uh, Diana Ross. Uh, became a sort of a staple, a signature. And although Diane Ross in the 80s was a hugely established star, this is the one piece that really uh, made you know immediately who was on stage. I mean, of course, you know, but in, in it just gave that, you know, that thing that just established her if you wanted to make a drawing, you had to draw the tool coat, just like the hair and the, the beaded gowns. But a lot of artists wear beaded gowns. Um, it, this established Diana Ross as a kind of an image that you cannot get out of your head. And I think that that is one of the things that made um, Diana Ross so fond of this, uh, of this coat, because 
when she travels, she doesn't travel with one. She has two or three. I've seen her um, in Paris where she would have the yellow one, which is a smaller uh, version, and then the green and the red one, and sometimes the white. So, um, you know, that's a couple of suitcases just for the coats. Um, but it, it is extremely light. And, and just look at the way, you know, it just, it, you know, it just... Uh, it's like a cloud that uh, covers you. So it's a lot of fun to work with and a lot of fun to wear. And it is it is uh, also, it's not warm. So it, when you're on stage, you know, you can you can have that on you and not, uh, it's not like the, the famous coat where she says that it, this mother is heavy. So um, this is, you know, just another excuse to speak about uh, this incredible, incredible piece and uh, uh, just on a little newer note, I wanted to talk about Diana Ross's influence on fashion and fashion designers. Uh, Mark Jacobs' uh, 2024 uh, fashion show, um, uh, the finale was um, something quite extraordinary, very beautiful gowns that reminded me so much of uh, a Supreme's silhouette, uh, the hair as well as the gown, and uh, in, in a modernized, modernized version, but also very, very 60s. So I had some of these pictures put up because I thought they really, uh, really looked um, uh, pretty amazing. And uh, it's just one more um, uh, thing that goes to show how Diane Ross uh, influences us and uh, throughout the years and influences all some of the greatest, greatest artists, designers, fashion designers, um, uh, uh, people who are uh, working in, in, in the music industry or outside of the music industry, always influenced by this extraordinary uh, person who is uh, you know, the complete package, everything, the elegance, the beauty, the talent, the voice. And so um, that's why it's such a joy for me to present her. I also am premiering something today. This is my uh, office slash dressing room. So um, I've, I've done a couple of videos here, but it's been a while uh, since I really wanted to um, really make this place a bit neater and, um, and um, um, you know, it's very difficult to always keep your clothes um, visible and looking neat. It always kind of looks a bit messy. So this time I got these um, uh, curtains and I was able to uh, put away all of my costumes, wigs, and uh, everything that I wear for the stage in the back. And so um, uh, it's, it's, I really enjoy working here. It, it gives me a sense of peace and calm and I don't have, you know, all of these things uh, lying around because sometimes I have clothes that I can't really put away. They have to be either, you know, they're in between. I'm uh, finishing to do things on them, embellishing, beading, uh, doing hems and sometimes for clients trying on so the clothes are just not finished so it doesn't really look good so here with this um uh, system that i found i'm i'm very very happy and so it's great to be able to um do some videos up here and so i wanted to thank you especially because um i got a lot of compliments from uh, some of you uh telling me that you like the the background uh, which is my house this is where i live in paris so i try to uh, film in different areas of the apartment. It's not huge. This is Paris. So uh, there are different parts of the apartment that I'll show you um, along with the video. So I'll see you next week with some more of Diana Ross magic. Bye bye.